All right, guys, so since there's been a ton of nerfs and buffs to a bunch of different bloodlines, I am going to be dropping the newest bloodline tier list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, right to the video, guys. All right, guys, so as you guys can tell, I already ranked a bunch of these onto the tier list. I usually started doing this because, honestly, because there's just so many bloodlines in the game now. There's like almost 70 or more bloodlines in the game at the moment. So I have to do this. Otherwise, the bloodline tier list would be like two hours long. And nobody wants to sit through two hours of me saying, oh, this bloodline's bad because it only has a counter that is like subpar. Or, oh, this bloodline's bad because, you know, the mode doesn't even work half the time people don't really want to listen to that people just want to see the good stuff so uh yeah here's going to be the tier list i will explain a, a few of these real quick just because you know i feel like some of them are due for an explanation scorch of frostfire did actually get nerfed recently the third move's damage got reduced bruce kenichi is a very very basic combo extending bloodline honestly there's just better combo extenders in the game it's a very fun bloodline to use though don't get me wrong surge has actually gotten some pretty major nerfs the actual stun time of the move is significantly lower than what it was before jinshiki is a counter only bloodline and honestly the counter is really not that great satori ren just has one big damage burst now smoke is gonna be at the top of the top of good tier because the second move is honestly pretty good for traveling and for pvp and since it's good for both i think that you know since only the one move is good for both i think it's a very solid good tier bloodline rune Kachu mode actually got nerfed it drains a lot more now light joke guy counter you know it's it's okay counter narmaki only has the mode going for it Ryan ryan gaiden is a very fun ball in the news but it really isn't that great reg kenichi obviously guys has been nerfed at the wazoo so it's just going to be a good tier sriracha and sengoku have subpar counters that are the only good thing about the actual bloodline but uh, yeah if you guys disagree with any of these placements free to comment below there's no reason you know to go hating there's some people that like to hate on the bloodline tier list i actually like seeing what you guys think about it you know you be respectful go comment below have some discussions with one another i enjoy reading them because you know it gives me a lot more you know it gives me a lot more insight on the game since you know obviously i can't go through and test all these bloodlines every single time i make a tier list otherwise it would literally take me probably months to do that you go over every single little thing so i do appreciate you guys's input now starting off with era hockey joke I now okay dude this okay i gotta zoom out the tier list is already so big because there's just so many different bloodlines era hockey joke guy the first really good tier bloodline for this tier list honestly just has a really okay iframe combo extending ability and pretty okay damage output bankai kuma is going to be the first almost broken bloodline it has an okay mode that a mode drains and the stun is by far the the stun is honestly just a bread and butter stun everyone compares every stun to bankai stun because bankai stun is kind of like the go-to stun for everybody in the game plus the third move is kind of uncounterable at the moment bormak is going to be yet another almost broken bloodline ash at the bottom of almost broken the second move is honestly an insanely good move in general it definitely should be moved from the eye to the iframe attack global cooldown because it's not really an auto dodge but i do think that you know the third mode of Bor third mode of boromaki it's also pretty insane has really high damage output and really easy to use abilities do you is going to be yet another really good tier bloodline at the very top by far one of the single best dueling modes in the game because it's practically uncounterable and it has insanely far range plus the second mode is insanely good for team fights there's some really weird stuff you could do with like the second and third ability actually have iframes every one of the do Sucker's ability actually has iframes so you can use them if you're smart with using the abilities they'd be quite good but it's a very high skill cap bloodline in my opinion now eastwood karashi is going to be yet another almost broken tier bloodline i'm actually putting it at probably at the top of almost broken tier now eastwood karashi had he's had a stage where it was actually broken tier now obviously i didn't make a bloodline tier list during that time period but it actually was broken for a bit i definitely think it's a very solid a tier bloodline at the moment because the the best move the third move was actually added to the iframe attack global cooldown which practically doesn't really do anything because there's not that many moves on the global cooldown that probably should be on it at the moment but i do think you know this move in general is a really really good move really solid iframes it also can start combos for you plus the first move is a pretty much bread and butter combo extender inferno is going to be yet another really good tier bloodline probably in the middle of really good tier it's honestly just smoke but better in my opinion now the second move is kind of finicky at times sometimes you know you can avoid moves with it sometimes you can't sometimes it glitches out but i in my opinion i do think it's just a better smoke mecha spirit obviously guys yet another really good tier bloodline i'm putting at the very bottom because honestly the mode is terrible the third move is you know passable it's just a basic you know traveling move but i do think you know the second and first move of mecha spirit definitely carry it to being in the really good tier now minikaze obviously guys is going to be going to the almost broken tier at the very bottom probably actually i'm putting it right below bankai uh, i'll put it above bankai why not now even though minikaze second got gutted it actually got rebuffed by the way guys if you guys are unaware i actually did a little bit of discussion with the balance team and you know the devs saw my balancing video so minikaze actually got rebuffed uh the second move had the iframes re-added i still don't think it block breaks so it's still pretty bad but at least you know some the good at least one of the parts got re-added to it because i uh, honestly you know minikaze there's no point in rebuffing it if you're just gonna nerf it again that's my personal opinion they did this absolutely nuts absolutely lovable rework to minikaze and then they just nerfed it so i i don't really get the point of that but the thing that does actually probably need a small nerf is the third move which is the reason why it's going to be an almost broken tier third move is absolutely nuts it's a really you know it's a pretty high damage move that can bypass block if you're far away from them or if any kunai lands on them at all the move will hit you nonetheless it also was insanely easy to combo extend with in a pretty 
pretty solid move overall. And obviously, guys, Minakazi Baron mode is a force to be reckoned with. It's a pretty good mode. Now, Oda Savru, I actually I actually wanted to wait to do this, but I'm going to putting this into the good tier. Now, the reason why I wanted to wait to do this is because Odin Sabru generally, I don't think it's really that great of a bloodline, but some people gen generally hype it up. So I'm going to be putting it, you know, good on the actual tier list. Odin Sabru just has a basic, you know, combo starting, combo extending ability, which is the teleport ability. You could jump out of it if you guys are unaware. The main thing that Odin Sabru actually has going for it is the mode. And even then, the mode really isn't that great compared to some of the other modes in the game. Ryan Akuma, very solid, really good tier bloodline, has a pretty good counter in general. And the third move is a basic, you know, block breaking ability. Also, the, the mode is okay. I definitely think that, you know, there's better modes in the game, but, you know, having a ranged mode drain cheese steal ability is pretty good. Now, Ryan Red Goku is going to be the first broken bloodline on this tier list. Now, it has been it has been over a year since Ryan Ren was considered broken, but I definitely think in this meta at the moment, Ryan Ren is an insanely good bloodline for the first and second ability. First ability, obviously, guys, it used to bypass counters for a little bit. That isn't the case anymore, but it's still an iframe ability. You can pull people, you can combo extend, combo start. It's just an insanely good ability in general, and then the second move is like the first move, but you can actually trigger it whenever you want. Ren Goku is going to be yet another really good tier bloodline. Now, I actually definitely think that Ren Goku's probably right above Mecha Spirit right here. Uh, no, it, it, probably top a really good tier. Ren Goku has an insanely good mode. It was better before the perfect block update, but I do think the abilities of Ren Goku really are not that bad besides the third move. So it definitely doesn't ha really have any downside suit besides the third move. Now, Red Cheek is going to be yet another really good tier bloodline. Honestly, at the very bottom of really good tier. Uh, I definitely think the counter is pretty good. I definitely, you know, pick up the counter sometimes. It's very fun to use counter in general because it's one of the only counters in the game that you could hold down and it will continuously damage them. So if they're trying to shuriken rush you, they will take a ton of damage from it. It's honestly really fun to use. And then the third move or uh, third mode of Renchiki is honestly pretty good. Riser Kuma, guys, very solid bloodline in general, bottom of almost broken tier, pretty solid stun that teleports you to them. One of the best iframe attack, you know, abilities in the entire game. But the, you know, the mode is the exact same as Bankai mode. And then the third move of Riser is honestly pretty trash. Satori Kuma, I honestly think this bloodline has honestly kind of fallen off. I'm going to be putting Satori Kuma probably mm, right below Mecha Spirit. I definitely think Satori mode is still insanely good, but the actual abilities of Satori really are not that great compared to some of the other things. And the counter did obviously get nerfed with the air combo thing it may not seem like a big deal but the fact you actually get put into an air combo means it's literally just a worse shindai counter so there's almost no reason to ever use satori because shindai mode is better and shindai counter is better but it's still a pretty solid bloodline now seko is gonna be yet another really good tier bloodline i'm actually gonna be putting this at the bottom because senko only has one good move which is the teleport move but this move is absolutely busted guys if you haven't used this move yet definitely go try it out in some pvp matches and you'll see what i'm saying it's the first move by the way now shindai ren goku now i i know i've been hyping up shindai ren goku for a very long time i definitely think it's a very solid b tier bloodline at the moment it has a really solid raised block but it does drain a lot of mode obviously when you're in the raised block and the throwable is pretty good and the m1s are really good the actual abilities of shindai ren are really not that great uh but if you can manage to land the counter with somebody it will actually do a lot of damage now obviously guys shindai kuma very solid broken s tier bloodline uh if you guys don't know about shindai kuma it has a very solid counter ability which actually it, it's it's basically kind of like the way they made the counter now is it's kind of just a safety net if they hit you it's fine because the clones are summoned and they'll still you they'll still you know go after the opponent you can charge a cheer or whatever and if they do hit you they'll get sent to an air combo and then instantly get comboed afterwards honestly i'm gonna be frank with you guys getting put into an air combo after the shindai kuma counter actually made it better because uh before shindai kuma counter you were not guaranteed the combo extend but now it's just a literal safety net and is by far the best counter in the game at the moment plus the mode is honestly insanely good with the weapon spec um i some people you know generally hate on the weapon spec but uh, i i think it's very rare to find someone that actually you know use a shindai mode effectively most of the time noobs pick it up just for, for some easy mode drain but if you fight someone that actually knows what they're doing in the game and uses shindai kuma mode you'll probably just you know honestly uninstall roblox afterwards shiver kuma various all bloodline in general i definitely good putting it above riser by far one of the best uh, akuma modes in the game i honestly think it is is it is the best akuma mode in the game at the moment uh the c spec allows you to go anywhere in the map wherever you want and then obviously the web spec is uh, insanely good for combo extending the actual abilities are really not that great ever since they actually patched it but before they patched it um i definitely think that it was an okay bloodline has a very okay counter as well now bankai inferno I i'm good definitely good putting this into the really good tier since it only has one good ability which is uh, you know the first one but the first ability is just so good i definitely good putting it straight to the top it's just an easy breakaway ability alfie ramba shizen you guys are not going to believe this it's going to be going into the almost broken tier probably above bankai the third move is honestly just a really amazing zoning ability in general i definitely think it's kind of just a it's a 
the go-to ability for a lot of the main pvp or in the p years in the game right now because it's just honestly it could be a combo extending a combo starting easy zoning ability that allows you to charge to or whatever you want honestly just amazing ability in general and the other abilities are honestly very passable like they're, they're okay abilities you know you won't go wrong by using them and but the mode just drains too much mode to be worth using at all in my personal opinion now doku tengoku this one has been going through some you know muddy waters the, the i'm pretty sure the counter got nerfed the uh you know the mode got nerfed for some reason i don't understand why the mode is pretty trash but i definitely think doku tengoku is still a very solid almost broken tier bloodline uh i'm gonna be i i, I don't know why boromaki is so high there um that definitely needs to be moved down doku tengoku is probably gonna be going right above riser really solid counter and the obviously the first move block break stronger block now shiro glacier is going to be the next really good tier bloodline here i'm going to be putting it above ren goku very very solid mode in general i definitely think shiro glacier is a very underrated bloodline at the moment uh partially due to me i will admit some fault to that because i you know i'm i used to handle shiro glacier but after using it a bunch honestly the abilities are really fun to use if you know how to use it you will do tons of damage to people and it definitely has a really solid mode because you get to fly around on the dragon and get away from people van helsing this one i think is a very solid really good tier bloodline i'm going to be putting it right below a bankai inferno right here uh just generally just a really okay combo extending your bloodline pretty okay if you i think van helsing is one of the uh only skill high skill floor bloodlines in the game where you have to know what you're doing or you're going to get crushed using van helsing now doom shadow and vengeance i definitely think i'm going to be putting this into the really good tier as well i'm going to be putting it probably mm, right below shindai Ren in the really good tier just a very 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 solid combo extending bloodlines in general they're honestly the exact same thing i'm putting doom shadow above because it is uh vengeance is just a skin of doom shadow they're the same exact bloodline honestly in my opinion i actually think doom shadow is a little bit better because it is harder to predict where you're going because obviously the shadow glowing can be harder to see when you're actually fighting in the game so i definitely think it's a little bit better in my opinion because uh i get hit a lot more when facing doom shadow than by vengeance but they're just basic you know combo extending very easy to use combo extending bloodlines very solid six pack narumaki honestly is going to be going to the really good tier this bloodline honestly has fell off in my personal opinion i'm putting it probably a below ryan akuma here a six pack narumaki the frog isn't really that good anymore none of the abilities are honestly that good the second mode is the only thing keeping it afloat at the moment and frankly um it's really not that great compared to some of the other modes in the game strange is still going to be an almost broken bloodline I actually think strange mode is still insanely good even after all of the nerfs and the strange moves even though they got nerfed as well are still pretty okay i put doom shadow on this bloodline tier list twice and now i'm gonna have to deal with that for the rest of my life because i <laughs> remaking this bloodline tier list is gonna take me ages oh my gosh i put doom shadow on twice well doom shadow gets double the action in a really good tier i guess now obviously guys magma is gonna be this one may be surprising to you if you guys don't know magma magma is a really weird and finicky bloodline i'm gonna putting it to the almost broken tier it's gonna be one of the two ekgs in the almost broken tier i'm guess there's only one ekg left so you guys probably know what's gonna go there but magma but honestly guys the third move for some reason has the ability to bypass block i don't understand why it hasn't been fixed yet but if you use this move on someone that's blocking they either have to block for eight seconds straight which you know if you're blocked for eight seconds straight you're getting block broken so you're gonna get comboed anyways if you unblock at all during that time period you're gonna get hit with this ability unless you immediately iframe afterwards the move is honestly pretty disgusting to use in general and then yeah i'm pretty sure it's whatever move block breaks the long range block breaking move is honestly insanely good and it also has a pretty okay combo extending ability so i definitely think just because it has the ability to block bypass definitely almost broken tier and then a Paul Sand, another almost broken tier. I'm not going to be ranking them, you know, above any of the actual, you know, bloodlines just because they are EKGs, but I want to showcase how just how good these bloodlines are. A Paul Sand has an instant block breaking ability that honestly does a decent amount of damage for being a block breaker. It's extremely high damage trap stun, 50,000 damage stun, really long stun as well. And then the third move is honestly one of the best moves in the game at the moment. Hyper armor move that reduces damage by a ton and lasts an extremely long time. Now we're going to be getting onto the new bloodlines here, the four newest bloodlines in the game well not newest uh ragnar is kind of old at this moment but the, the the bloodlines that generally everyone pretty much cares about at the moment so let's get started with ragnar ragnar definitely an almost broken tier bloodline even after nerf sorry guys i gotta zoom out one more time even is still an almost broken tier after the nerfs i'm definitely gonna be putting it mm, i'll be putting it probably above doku to goku the counter is still a very very solid counter even though they nerfed the crap out of the counter the counter has been nerfed like five times and it's still an insanely good counter i still recommend using it the first move even though it has hand signs is still still very very usable still has a decent amount of stun still guard breaks 
it's just not instant anymore and the second move still does tons of damage so it's still a very solid bloodline just not as strong as what it was before ray karada is going to be going into the broken tier now this one may actually surprise some people i'm going to be putting at the bottom broken tier but first of all ray karada first has the ability to bypass some counters based on you know how long the counter actually lasts the second move of uh, ray karada is a aoe stun ability extremely good for rpg pvp especially when you're you know in team fights obviously and then the third move is basically just it's basically just vengeance first move which is a really okay solid combo sending ability now the thing about ray karada that is very weird is that the actual c spec of it you're not supposed to be able to combo send with it but there is no end lag to it so you can use abilities during the flip animation so you could do absolutely huge damage burst with it weapon spec is okay it's very subpar m1s are obviously subpar they do you know subpar damage stats are pretty okay but the first move the second move the third move and the c spec definitely are very solid abilities that are going to be ranking this in broken tier so you got to nerf that rayquaza if you watch this man you got to nerf that fat boy bloodline now on to snake man now uh, this is very this sad as me to say but snake man is going to be going it, it's funny because i'm like oh yeah snake man terrible bloodline it's going to be going to the bottom of almost broken tier i still think snake man is a very solid bloodline so has a really okay you know guard breaking ability okay combo extending ability which is the second one. First one is still honestly as good as it was before but it can't be used for burst combos it's still i it's still the exact same for me because it i use it as a combo extending move it just doesn't do a whopping amount of damage anymore the, i think the damage is about 70 percent of what it was before so it's still an okay move they actually rebuffed the throwable of it so the throwable still does a decent amount of damage and honestly snake man still is an extremely good bloodline i'm actually gonna be I, I i definitely think that um uh doku needs to be brought down a bit uh no i'll leave doku there no i think I, I actually think this is a very solid tier list in general but snake man i definitely think after the nerfs is gonna be right here because it doesn't really have that huge damage burst that it used to but it's still a very solid bloodline by the way, guys what is your favorite shooter like bloodline in the game for to comments we'll, we'll be checking them out now last but not least is going to be the newest bloodline in the game indra akuma now, um, Indra Akuma is one of those, I think is honestly one of the most unique is it it is i'm gonna say this guys this may surprise you but injury kuma is gonna be my new favorite bloodline in the game i think it's an insanely fun bloodline to use i've been having a blast using it uh the weapon spec of it is insanely fun to use you know the mode is actually insanely good by far one of the best modes in the game at the moment and then the the moves were actually rebuffed so they're not trash anymore so injury kuma i definitely gonna be putting it to almost broken tier probably honestly at the bottom i wouldn't at, mm, at the mode mm, i'll put it mm, i'll put it right below strange how about that the mode has raised block for basically free mode drain and i definitely think the moves after being rebuffed are very passable indra kuma just a really really fun blood to use if you guys haven't used it yet definitely go check it out anyways guys that's proof of this video if you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe guys